So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And our live game is Sevilla against Inter. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beckley. Well, thanks, Peter. There's a great sense of anticipation in this stadium. and I've been hit by it too. Two starting lineups. the whistle and here we go so Jim tell me this who are you looking for in particular here I'm gonna say Jesus Navas because while so many wingers operate on their unnatural side these days he's like a, a throwback to the past plays on his natural flank and he likes to supply others with his pace and trickery and in, in getting to the byline and and he is a very good crosser on his day yeah I'm inclined to agree Jesus Navas pumps it upfield. Lucas Ocampos. Looks like a good ball through. Luke de Jong. Chance! Good strong hand by the keeper. Goes long and forward. Lukaku with the ball through. Shakes the shoots! to safety that's gone a long way up and away out to the left it goes well, that looks a foul yep referee's given it and he's gonna have his name taken looks like he's picked up a bit of a knock from that challenge Another dead ball chance. Oh, that's a waste. Oh, it's miles away. Surely he knew he couldn't score from there. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Pumps it forwards. Can Draver. Now the pass. Fence has got rid of that. Alexis Sanchez crosses. Goal! Inter! And Inter go in front. 
Oh, super header, wonderfully acrobatic. You know, it takes a lot of courage to do that, to throw yourself at the ball knowing you could catch a boot in the head. Well done, son. Into Milan, take the lead. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. And it's Ocampos. That always looked inevitable. The defence dealt with that really well. Kandreva. Lolito. And now they can launch a counter. And he's cut it out. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Fernando, Luke de Jong, chip through. They've done it! Unbelievable. And it's another really good show of character. I love the spirit and togetherness they muster. Never know when they're beaten. That's wonderfully done. Crisp hit, true finish. It's almost a case of, of sacrificing some of the power in favour of getting the technique right. And technically, that volley was as good as it comes. That's not an easy skill, we know that by now. That's fantastic. That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Alexis Sanchez passes it through. Kandreva. Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. Yeah, and that was all about the through ball. Great control, and the weight was perfect. That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Oliver Torres. Molito. Spoon forward. Luke de Jong. And it's Nolito. Tries a long pass towards the front. A real chance to break. Now it's Eriksen. Is it in? And the first 45 minutes are up. That's a really interesting game, and they head in at half-time at 1-1. So we're into the second 45. Inter playing... Had a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Alexis Sanchez looks to slip it through. It'll be a throw in. Who's going to make this theirs? And the defence can get it clear. And somehow it stayed out. Oh, that's great stuff from him. Well, in all honesty, he's tormented that defence. They just can't handle him. Eriksson. Sevilla have anticipated uh, an aerial bombardment. Just looks like mass defence. Yeah, it's a case of needs must at certain times, Peter, and, and they have to respond to what's being asked of them. And he certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. He's feeling the effects of that tackle.
That's good defence, uh, plain and simple, good defence. They refuse to allow a turn. through needs to be good here. A chance! Crosses it in low. Smart save. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Oliver Torres. Driving on now, what can they conjure from here? Hurtles into the tackle. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Well, his stealth has been compromised because of his goal, and his treatment from here looks as if it could get a little tighter. Deftly done. Away from immediate danger. And the referee has brought play back and shown him a yellow card. Checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Now it's Lukaku. I have to say that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. And that's a throw. -in. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded and. As a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Tries a through ball. Christian Eriksen gets it back. Thrust towards the front line. Luke de Jong. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Now it's Lukaku. He's made sure that that won't get through. Just five minutes left. Fernando plays a clever pass. Cotin. Eriksen doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Ocampos, Godin charges in, tries to route one option. Kandreva with the ball through. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Sevilla have decided now is the time to make their final change. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and the effort. It is going to need 30 more minutes, no winner after 90. Yeah, this has been a hard-fought game, Peter. There's been a healthy dose of drive and ambition, and sometimes that isn't rewarded with goals just like this one. I've seen a lot worse, though. So 90 minutes couldn't produce a winner, and we have extra time. And it's Lukaku. Now the pass. Meets it first time! Lucas Ocampos. Luke de Jong. Crunching tackle. Now it's Luke de Jong. Jesus Navas, lofted into the middle. No, not the best of headers. He is looking a bit leaden-footed now. Looks to slip it through. Great run, this. He's covered quite a distance. Has a pop! Goal! Sevilla! And the comeback is complete! Oh, that always looked the likely outcome. Well, he made 
bit obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Sevilla take the lead. That's it for the first period of extra time. Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this tale. I think there's bound to be some late drama in the final 15 minutes of this epic. And so the last chance to find a winner. This has been enthralling. So what do the last 15 minutes have left? Fernando. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. Lucas Ocampos with the delivery. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. Well, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Fernando. Jesus Navas. There will be a throw in. Balls out. There'll be a throw in again. And it's Luke de Jong. Luke de Jong unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Jesus. And that will be the final act. Inter Milan have thrown it away, it was in their grasp, and they let it go. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Look, there's not really a lot I can say about this result. Sometimes you just want to get it out of your system and move on, and I think this applies. And all that remains for me is to thank Jim Beglin. That's it from us tonight. A very good evening to one and all.